If you are on Medicare or will be new to Medicare, and you live in either Pennsylvania, Vermont, Connecticut, Ohio, Rhode Island, Minnesota, Massachusetts, or New York, this video will have important information on Medicare that is specific to your state and can save you hundreds of dollars on your Medicare supplement premium. Now, most people that have been shopping for a Medicare supplement have already heard that most often Medigap Plan G offers a better combination of price and value than the very popular Medigap Plan F. Now that is true in most states, but not all. If you live in one of the states that I just mentioned, your Medicare supplement is subject to a state-specific law that reduces the value of Plan F and Plan G. In those states, it is often Plan N that offers the best combination of price and value. Here's why. As we look at this table of Medicare supplement plans, we see the plan name along the top row and the benefit categories in the left-hand column. If you look closely, we can see that the second to last benefit category is Medicare Part B excess charges. And it shows that both Plan F and Plan G offer insurance coverage in case you're subject to the Medicare Part B excess charge. These are the only two plans that offer this benefit. Built into the monthly premiums of Plan F and Plan G is the cost of paying all potential Part B excess charges. What this table doesn't show is that each of the states that I had mentioned have a law that forbids Part B excess charges. If you live in Pennsylvania, or Vermont, or Connecticut, or any of the eight states that I mentioned earlier, you don't need to pay extra insurance against possible Medicare Part B excess charges you have no risk of being subject to the Part B excess charge for Medicare services in your state. So what is a Medicare Part B excess charge? Well, Medicare Part B is that portion of Medicare that helps you pay for outpatient and physician services, where Medicare Part A is for inpatient services in a hospital, Medicare Part B is outpatient and physician services. After you pay the annual deductible for Part B, and that's $166 in 2016, then Medicare pays for 80% of the Medicare billing. Now, when a doctor decides to accept Medicare patients, then he or she will have to sign a contract with Medicare. And in that contract, they agree to either accept assignment or not accept assignment. When they accept assignment, they lose control over the prices for their services because Medicare assigns the price for each service. And then in that agreement, Medicare pays its portion, and then which is the 80%, and then the rest is either paid by your supplement or by yourself if you have no supplement. Now for a, a more specific definition, uh, we can always refer to the uh, Medicare and You guidebook, which you should all have. And in Medicare and You, their definite definition of assignment is assignment is an agreement by your doctor, provider, or supplier to be paid directly by Medicare to accept the payment amount Medicare approves for the service and not to bill you for any more than the Medicare deductible and coinsurance. You can also find that, of course, in the 2016 version of, of the Medicare and You Guide as well. So a doctor that does not accept Medicare assignment can charge you more than what Medicare would normally charge and they can bill you directly. Now that charge, it, it is limited. They can only charge you up to 15% more and the exact formula is a little involved. You can look that up more on, on uh, Medicare.gov. But the bottom line is that if you have a Medicare Supplement Plan F or the Medicare Supplement Plan G, then you're paying for insurance so that if there's a Medicare excess charge, you're covered. But if you live in Pennsylvania, Vermont, Rhode Island, Connecticut, Ohio, New York, uh, Michigan, and Minnesota, you don't need that coverage because your state forbids those excess charges for all the services in your state that are, that are Medicare covered. It's kind of like paying for a, a homeowner's insurance that includes a, a pool when you don't have a pool. It's just excess cost that you don't need. Typically, a Plan N, 
which we talked about that does not have that uh, coverage for the Part B excess charge will save you between 25 and 30 percent over Plan F and between 15 and 25 percent over Plan G. So let's take a look at some actual prices. We'll take a look at uh, two different zip codes and you can see uh, how Plan N can save you money over Plan F and Plan G. All right, so we just want to show a couple quick examples so you can see the kind of money you can save uh, switching to a plan N if you're you're in the right state. And we're going to uh, pick on two different here. We'll start with the uh, the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, and let's see here. Here's the zip code uh, 19406. And this software, we can see that uh, you can use a, a woman who's plan F and at age 65. Uh, we can choose any age, obviously, and, and uh, the, what we're going to find is, is it's all pretty much going to be the same as far as the amount of savings, regardless of age. So let's uh, start by getting a quote real quick here. And uh, we're starting by looking at Plan F, and what we want to do is show how, how much you can save with uh, Plan N versus Plan F or Plan G. Uh, just to make this easier, we're going to switch it from a monthly price to an annual and take out the expanded quotes so that you can see that, uh, for example, uh, here in, in uh, this particular zip code, there are a lot of companies offering a Plan F. And note the prices. You start all the way from $1,900 a year all the way up to uh, over $3,000, uh, one at uh, $4,000 for the exact same plan. So obviously you need to shop Regardless, you should be shopping your plan on a regular basis uh, to see if you're getting the, a good price. I won't say that the cheapest is always the best. I'm not saying that, but you should shop. So what we have here, uh, let's take a look and uh, you know, clear that out. So we can say that a, a plan F here is about $1,900. Let's use some round numbers here. We'll save that number. Uh, we'll go to plan G real quick. Same person. What would the Plan G cost them? Well, the Plan G can cost them uh, from $1,900. You're coming down to about $1,500 or $1,600. You save about $300 for a Plan G. Now, considering that uh, the only difference between the Plan F and the Plan G is uh, the $166 Part B deductible, that's still a better value. And Plan G is still a better value than Plan F. But now we'll come down to Plan N, which is similar to the Plan F except for the for the plan G, excuse me, except for the fact that um, uh, you are not overpaying because uh, you're not paying for excess charges. Uh, you do on a plan N have to pay a $20 copay when you visit the doctor, but it's uh, minor for the amount of savings because now you're looking at uh, $1,200 to $1,300 a month. And again, we come back and compare that to the $1,900. Uh, this is $1,300 a year, not month. Uh, we compare that to the $1,900. Now you're looking at about $600 a year savings. Uh, so $600, uh, we'll clear that out here. $600 divided by $1,900 should be about a 30%, 32% uh, savings here. So that's a significant amount of savings uh, for going for Plan N. Again, because of the uh, uh, excess charges are not allowed, in, uh, in Pennsylvania with the plan and you are just simply not overpaying. You're not paying for insurance that you, uh, you're not going to be able to use. Now let's take another uh, real quick look here. We're going to go to a, a Vermont zip code and uh, let's just for the fun of it change the age around in the 71 year old male and again we're going to start with the plan F and let's see what we get here. Now uh, Vermont uh, unlike uh, unlike Pennsylvania is a community rated uh, state and that means all the plans are community rated uh, you can get more details on what that means in the uh, Medicare and you guidebook um, and we're gonna go again let's go to annual rates and unexpand you'll see there's not as many choices in here uh, for plans um, we're gonna round it here and just say that uh, uh, for this 71 year old, we're looking at about uh, $2,300 for a plan F. And if we go to a plan G, 
again unexpand and uh, so you're saving really you're only saving um, uh, for the best plan about three hundred dollars it's a little bit of a value considering again the only difference between the plan G and the plan F is the hundred and sixty six dollar uh, annual uh, Part B deductible uh, now let's move down to plan N which is better priced for Vermont and if I keep the right buttons here there we go now you're looking at something that's more reasonable about fourteen hundred um, I would not necessarily go with the lowest price here but we're not going to get into that in this video but let's just say here you go down from twenty three hundred down to about uh, fourteen forty fifteen hundred dollars you're saving uh, $800 on the $2,300, $800 a year. That's a considerable savings, and your only uh, inconvenience is uh, paying the $20 copay when you go see the doctor. Uh, again, this is because Plan N is not charging you to uh, for excess charges that are, are not permitted in your state anyway. So that's the savings you're going to experience. How do you find your own uh, and what your own savings are going to be? Uh, we'll take a look at the uh, uh, quote request form, give us the information we'll need, we'll get you the prices on your own plan and how much you can save. It's very simple, painless, doesn't cost anything. It, it really is, is a no-brainer to at least give that a try. So if you live in a state that forbids Medicare Part B excess charges, but you have a Medicare Supplement Plan F or Plan G, you're paying for insurance that you probably can't use, and you may be paying overpaying by 15 to 30 percent for your coverage. Now remember, unlike Medicare Advantage plans, with Medicare Supplement plans there is no open season. You can save money on your Medicare Supplement plan any time of year. But the first step is to request a quote. Let us do some shopping for you and show you how much you can save. Click the link either on this video or the one below and we'll email you back the prices so you can see what you can save and make an informed decision. I'm Matthew Clausen with MediGapSeminars.org. Thank you for watching.